What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Anthony, Gary, Antonio, Russell versus Emmanuel Rodriguez. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, to those who don't know, this fight is scheduled for 12 rounds in the Bantamweight division. In the undercard of the Rigondo versus Casimiro fight, which will be taking place on the 14th of August, August 14, 2021, this weekend, live on Showtime. This fight between Russell and Rodriguez is a good one. Apparently, this fight will be for the vacant WBA interim Bantamweight title. WBA interim bantamweight title, which does not make sense. Freaking WBA needs to stop doing this crap. They keep going out there and making all these random ass belts, putting them in fights, and putting more, making more confusion in the sport of boxing, putting more champions. <laughs> WBA, man. WBA, stop it. Stop it. If you guys don't know, Looking at the WBA situation right now in the Bantamweight division, this is how it looks like. Well, not, not just the WBA, but you know the, how it looks like right now. Specifically the WBA, we have a super champion, which is Naoya Inoue. And we have Guillermo Rigondo, who is the regular champion. He'll be fighting in the main event against the WBO champion, Gianriel Casimiro. We have two active champions. Why does it need... Why does... The need to have an interim champion need to exist, WBA. Why? Stupid, WBA. Stupid. This fight is a good fight, by the way. Not hating on Rigondo. You know, he's, he's a WBA regular champion. But that belt doesn't really mean much because no anyway is a champion. That's... You know, now you anyway is the champion, WBA and IBF champion. But with that being said, Gary Russell's younger brother, Gary Antonio Russell, will be fighting Rodriguez for that for the interim belt. And to those who don't know who Gary Antonio Russell is, like I said, he's the younger brother of Gary Russell. All of them are named Gary Russell, by the way. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what their parents named him. Uh, Gary Antonio Russell is 28 years old from the great state of Maryland. 18 and 0, 12 wins coming by way of knockout TKO, coming off a technical decision win against Juan Carlos Payano. Now here he is fighting former champion Emmanuel Rodriguez, who's only lost twice in his career. Arguably just won his fight against Raymond Gabalo. That fight was pure robbery. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of Gabalo as a Filipino, but he he lost that fight. Gabalo lost that fight. Rodriguez was a clear winner in that one. And um, yeah, I would say that in a way, fight was pretty much his only loss. So him versus Russell should be a very uh, interesting clash of styles. Obviously, Russell being more of the boxer, Rodriguez actually, you know, he can box. Rodriguez can box, and I like I like the Russell brothers. I think they're pretty good. They're very highly talented, highly skilled, fast, strong, very good reflexes. And I like what I've seen of Russell, but with that being said, I think experience is key in this fight. And Emmanuel Rodriguez has gone through fights that have helped him improve as a fighter and as a boxer. And I think he will show that come fight night this weekend against Antonio Russell. I think Rodriguez will punch first and land first and will surprise a lot of people. I think he will win this fight in a close fight. It's actually pretty close to 50-50. I'll say that much. It's close to 50-50. If I have to split percentage-wise, I'm leaning towards Rodriguez like 55% to 45% in uh, favor of Russell. 45 in, in for Russell. But it will be a close competitive fight. Don't get me wrong. This is a very good fight. And I'm actually surprised that this fight's in the undercard. I didn't even know it was happening until today. I'm going to be honest. I've been... Uh, haven't really been keeping up with the sport of boxing lately. And uh, yeah, this one is something definitely to look forward to this weekend on the 14th. It will be very close going the distance, going to total 12 rounds, possibly go either, you know, 
it will be a split decision win, but I think Rodriguez will, will edge it just slightly. And the experience will be the, the key part to this win. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens in this fight. Should be an entertaining one. Should be a good one. I look forward to it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.